the format of being robot. Lot do Paramount Pictures, Klasky Chupo, Nickelodeon, Frederator, and Cartoon Network Studios have in common. You may think it's because of their cartoons, but it's because of their distinctive logo. There has been a downward spiral trend of creepy versions of logos with some disturbing and unsettling effects. According to some YouTube searches, there are different variations of logos with different disturbing effects. Unlike ClaskyChupo.abi and another logo not to be mentioned, it often uses the same tropes we would all see, the blood, the scary faces, the music, and yes, even jump scares. I'll be listing off some recollection of some logos with disturbing versions of them. Vid of Doom. One of the more disturbing logos with a jump scare, and yes, there will be a countdown on when the jump scare appears. Vid of Doom is a Viacom variant logo with a screamer, said to be uploaded back in 2010. It starts with the 1976 Viacom V logo before it immediately snaps into a roaring Vid logo. How is this scary? Maybe for the fact that the Vid of Doom comes out of nowhere, with his roaring face, his noticeable sharp teeth and its menacing roar. An event like this happened back in 2021 when credits of Matlock was hacked by a group of unknown ex-workers of MeTV. To this day, they haven't been caught. Klaskyopich.avi Now onto one of the more popular ones, Klaskyopich is the anti-version or creepy version of the splat logo of Klasky Chupo, with the second and last word of the logo spelled backwards. Now, what makes this horrifying to me personally is the fact it comes out of nowhere with its ear rape worthy screeching of the logo's name. If you listen closely, it sounds like it's screaming out the words of the logo, Klasky Opich. Not to mention, its red menacing colors and the fact that Splat is just smiling like normal. It's also paired with the overused No Dolakin, which is Nickelodeon backwards, and some EXE of a popular character to attract views. Frederator, Horror Edit. This is the only single one that isn't always an EXE character or a 666 edit, this is an actual scary edit of the Frederator Incorporated logo. Now this one, this one, to me, might be the most scary because of the squealing voice saying the logo now sounding freaky and almost screechy. The blood effect is a spooky touch, and the black void accompanying the ghastly red logo makes it all one of, hands down, the creepiest logo I've seen so far. But here's a question, why do people make these edits? Other than to be noticed on YouTube's vast of creations spanning from horror, others do it to make reactions. People shoving random scary things like 666, satanic messages and cramming other logos and popular characters and adding a jump scare together just to milk off nostalgia. But when done right honestly, you can see what they're doing, when you look at the ending of a cartoon or a movie, maybe you can see it happening. Who knows?